a sweet spot. A length and a half away is perfect reflection. Shading, wink and a nod down on the fence. Lightning in my veins about to get off the heels of perfect reflection nearing the corner. Belmont Girl back behind those and then came it to him and disposition a long way back. Last is Neverland. In the home straight, great shot was the first a corner. Immediately under the whip, Pornichet. Here comes Ideal Image with her run. Over on the fence, Venger Bus and perfect reflection starting to let down with lightning in my veins and disposition further out is running on brilliantly ideal image hit the front here's lightning in my veins though it's ideal image and lightning in my veins they went to the line close great finish in the northerly ideal image and lightning in my veins i thought lightning in my veins might have got it maybe lightning struck right on the line in the northerly possibly lightning in my veins over ideal image but there won't be much in it whatsoever and behind them for third a good run in the race perfect reflection and disposition and running on as well never land late great shot wink and a nod it's a him were followed home further back in the field by Venger Bus and Belmont Girl and pulling up abruptly is Pornache. Ideal image went for home kicked away but it was lightning in my veins in the northerly colours that has come with a super finishing run waiting for the placings after the running of the northerly stakes but quite possibly, in fact, he'll get this in the colours that were made famous by the great Fighting Tiger. And uh, this will be a pretty sweet moment when the numbers come to hand. Lightning in my veins, Stephen Parnham cutting down ideal image, Joe Azapati, and uh, either disposition or perfect reflection, the other of the Cerise and White, expected to dominate and conquer the race, but lightning in my veins has certainly changed all of that birthday stakes winner now into the northerly as we wait for the numbers to come to hand no placings just yet lightning in my veins the son of henry the navigator from beauty world has cut ideal image down and five's got the verdict number five lightning in my veins has taken out race seven, the northerly stakes. A big thrill, no doubt, for trainer Fred Kersley to win this race today. For the Oakland Park stud, Neville Duncan, along with Reg Webb and Jose Monterubio, Murray Cutbush and Peter Kerr, Circle of Trust Syndicate. Ridden by Stephen Parnham. Second is number 10, Ideal Image. More than Ready Mare from Reflected Image. Trained by Jeff Durant, Jason Miller, ridden by Joe Azapati. And the... Full sister, perfect reflection, weighing it in third placing for Peter's investments. Grant Nalana Williams, written by William Pike. Disposition coming from last to grab fourth. A big run and wink and a nod is fifth. The time is 124.38 and the last 635.37. Well, a sweet victory this by a horse who's really on the rise now. He's starting to answer the challenges and that was his biggest test by far today. Lightning in my veins, who's now had seven starts. He's won five of those. It's his second group success after having won a Lestia Classic on debut. And in the famous yellow and black Maltese cross and quilted cap, the same colours that the great $10 million stakes in a northerly, the finest horse this state's ever produced, carried in his illustrious career. And, of course, on Caulfield Cup Day, significantly again when he carried that massive weight to win the Caulfield Cup all those years ago. Let's go down now to the yard. Uh, no doubt there are some absolutely delighted owners and also breeders involved here with uh, this victory of lightning in my veins in the northerly stakes. We'll take you down to uh, Adam McGrath. He's amongst many of them down there in the enclosure. And uh, maybe it's a case of lightning striking twice. Really an amazing performance down here as Stephen Parnham brings back lightning in my veins. And Fred, you've seen everything in racing, you've done about everything in racing, but to win the Northerly, the, the race named after such a, a famous horse with these colours, with an up and coming, a horse that we know is going to be dominating the West soon, I can even see the emotion on your face today. Yeah, I've got to say it is emotional. Um, brings back great memories. He's not another Northerly, but he's a very good horse. Let's focus on Northerly first before we get in line in my veins. What does it mean to you to not only have this race named after, to have the statue, to have all the build-up throughout the week on this special day? Tell us about that first. 
Uh, you know, outstanding, really, and um, you know, I've got to be very thankful and grateful to Perth Race for acknowledging Nordley in the way they have in running this race and having the statue here and whatever. I mean, he truly was one of the great horses, uh, you know, in my time at least. Um, for this horse to come along today and win the race, probably when it wasn't expected, um, is a great thrill. And uh, I'm so pleased for, for him and pleased for the connection. So, uh, we've been a very lucky owners at this point in time. But, uh, you know, all credit to the horse and Stephen Parnham and to the folks at home that have all contributed to the win. I'm just so grateful. Is this the most emotional you've been at a race for a long time? Pretty much. Is it a good feeling having another horse coming through like this now, the lightning of my veins that can give you this thrill, this excitement, and I guess hope that maybe there's a, you know, another horse that, as you said, won't be a northerly but can fly the flag? Yeah, it's one of the things that you don't realise could happen. You know, they have a horse like Nordley and the race named after him and then find another young horse that's come along and good enough to win this race. I mean, for me, it's great reward. Um, and my reflections are, are huge. I'm going back over the years now and thinking about the great horse and um, have this guy come along and perform the way he does is outstanding. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite emotional about that. Obviously, we know the bigger races that you're going to target, but what do you do with him now? Because he still is lightly raced, he's still immature, he's still learning as well. So I guess compared to some of these older campaigners that you're racing against today, you may still have to go about it a little bit differently. Yeah, look, I don't know that we've been all that smart. We've got him up in the weights. If you're going to win the railway, you wouldn't want to do that. But, I mean, we really have always taken one step at a time with this horse. Didn't run him early when I thought he could have. I thought he needed more time. I'm prepared to be more patient and just take the races as they come. So there's no one goal that we're looking at. We just do the right thing by the horse. Fred, it was an absolute privilege to watch this horse win and even more privilege to see how much it means to you. Congratulations to you and the family. Many thanks. There's a winning trainer, Fred Kurz. We will grab Stephen Parnham now as well. He had the tough decision at the start of the week whether to go with It's a Him, which you've had so much success with, or go with the upcoming horse, and pretty clearly you chose right, mate. I think uh, logically the, the younger horse on the way out was the way to go. Um, I've got a lot of uh, good memories with It's a Him, so, you know, sentimentally there, I, I like that horse uh, a lot, um, but I think uh, in, 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 I've got to make the right decision on the day, and and this was the one that I went with. I felt that he had the, the turn of foot to um, be able to win it. Did you feel more pressure coming into this race compared to normal, knowing that it is the northerly Saints, knowing what this day means to everybody and knowing that you had hopped off a good horse to go with the youngster? Uh, I wouldn't say pressure, I, excitement, I'd say, because um, I've won the race before, but Fred hasn't, and obviously he trained the great horse northerly, and I think he'd uh, find a lot of enjoyment in winning it. So um, I was excited to get the opportunity on a good horse, and. Uh, to deliver it, it was, it was great. Tell us about throughout the run then. We saw this horse attack the line strongly over 1,200 metres last start. There was a bit of give in the track that day, so it was probably more like a 1,300 metres. We knew he'd be suited today, and you got out nicely, and he really attacked that line strongly, but Ideal Image wasn't going to give it up. Yeah, that's right. Ideal Image actually gave me a good fight. Um, I come out a little bit before the corner, and because he, he's uh, got a big stride on him, I wanted to get him into a rhythm and, and click him up from there, and um, he was able to... I thought cover perfect reflection good, but uh, the other horse gave me something to chase down, and I felt like he did it. Um, uh, I wouldn't say he had something in reserve, but he, he still did it uh, quite well. He's got a bit to learn. We know that so much can change in racing, but is the lid off? Are you excited now about what this horse can do this prep? I think so. You know, um, he's he's been asked to step up um, each time this preparation, and he's he's uh, managed to do so. And uh, you know, there's uh, you know the connections have got decisions to make where, where they sort of go from here, but. Um, I, I have a bit of faith in this horse that uh, he'll be able to keep rising up. We just had a chat to Fred then. He's very emotional. I'll let you go and enjoy it with him, mate, because I think he's got a couple of thank yous for you. Congratulations. No worries. Thank you very much. There's winning jockey Stephen Parnham, who, of course, rode lightning in my veins for trainer Fred Kersley to victory in the Group 3 Northerly Stakes. Here.